Hello and welcome to 3D for Medical Live. My name is Callum and I'm a member of the design team here at 3D for Medical. Over the last couple of months, we've been working really hard to bring some new and exciting features into Complete Anatomy. So some of those you may remember from our, our last webinar, that's uh, really cool things like our, our new tab system, which allows you to save and store views as you're exploring the model. I need to swap and change between them as you need to come back to them. We also introduced our new cut tool, which allows you to cut through multiple structures at the same time and through any angle as well. Finally, we also added in our library feature, which collects all of the content that you have on Complete Anatomy and stores it in one convenient location. Coupled with the library, we were able to introduce our brand new courses, which are a guided lesson through different anatomical topics provided by subject matter experts. So what we're going to be talking about today is a brand new feature that we've just launched for Complete Anatomy. That is augmented reality. Using Apple's AR kit, we're able to, for the first time, place the 3D model into the world around us, seeing everything at one-to-one -one scale. So the reason I mentioned some of those other tools that we've worked on is that augmented reality works really well with some of those. Take, for example, our cut tool. If you have recreated, say, some of the more traditional two-dimensional cross sections of the body that you might see in some medical textbooks, you can now recreate those in a couple of simple steps in Complete Anatomy, then view those in AR. So that means that you're seeing a whole new way to view this stuff and learn this material. So we're going to take a look at how AR is implemented in Complete Anatomy now. So as you're moving around, you can explore the body. There's a couple of different ways that you can jump into AR mode. The first one of those is as you're moving around, you can turn on some systems, you can turn on veins, arteries, anything you want to see on the body there. And you're going to be able to put that into AR mode. So that means that any view you have of the body can be viewed in augmented reality. And that's great because Complete Anatomy has tools like hiding and fading different structures, meaning you get a much more in-depth view of what's going on inside the body. So let's take a look at placing something in AR. And uh, we're gonna look at the second way that you can get into AR mode. That's through our screens. So if you have any saved screen, you're able to view that in augmented reality. So we're gonna take a quick look through some different features of AR through screens. So first thing we're gonna do is open up our skull screen. And I'll close this side panel here. Now, AR mode is just located on the bottom right here of the screen, so we're going to tap that, which is going to open up our camera. You'll see our lovely video team there. They might give you a quick wave. So the first job we have to do is find a suitable surface to place our model. And you see a couple of blue screens jumping up. That means that the device is telling us we're ready to place. So we tap anywhere on the blue model to place that structure. Now you can see the model placed on the table directly in front of us as if the skull were really sitting there on the table. So as we move around, you can see all the detail of the model and the really cool textures that are put on there. So one of the things we often hear from our users is just how difficult it is to learn about the bones of the skull. The reason for that is because they're so tightly joined together, it's really difficult to visualize how they all combine and to see the different surfaces that make them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Complete Anatomy's explode function in augmented reality. So we're just going to tap this button on the right and that's going to push each of the different structures away from the center. It gives us a really clear view of all the different details in the skull that you just wouldn't see otherwise. So in particular, we'll look at the sphenoid bone right in the center of the skull there. So that's a one that we always hear a lot about because it's so difficult to learn. It's because it's placed right in the middle of the skull. So here we can see one-to-one -one scale, exactly the size and shape of this bone see all the, the textures, the surfaces, how it joins to the other bones around it. Something you just wouldn't see without AR. Now, so there's a couple of other really cool features we're going to look at in AR now. And to do that, we're going to jump out of explode mode. We're going to go back to our library. So that's a quick look at the skull. Next thing we're going to look at is the heart. So let's jump back to our library and pull up our heart screen. So there's a couple of tools applied to this screen as well. I'm going to jump right into AR to take a look at those. Again, tapping AR mode down the bottom corner, searching for our plane. Now there we are, so we can place our heart directly onto the table. Now we see the heart one-to-one -one scale, again, as if it's sitting directly in front of us, which is really cool. As we move in and out here, you can see the different labels popping up. So they're giving us contextual information as we explore the model in 3D space. 
really helpful for helping us to focus on what we need to learn from this particular screen. As we move right into the model, you can see those labels just fading away so we get a really clear view of the model. Now, because the heart's quite small, it's quite difficult to get that view inside of it. So what we can do is, using the scale slider on the left here, we can scale our heart up and down. So let's blow them right up to the maximum. This is three times the size of a normal heart, and it allows us to really explore the model fully, get right in close to those spaces that would otherwise be really difficult to see. So there you can see the valve, how that connects, see all the different structures of the heart and how they come together to make up the whole. So we also have explode mode here again. So we can see all those different components, the different pieces that make up the heart. It's really cool to see how all these things fit together, see their scale and relation to one another. So once again, let's just pop that back together and jump back to our library to look at some other cool features of AR. Now we're gonna look at the, the full body in AR, to see what that looks like. Compare that to more traditional methods that we would learn about, say the skeleton. So I've opened up our skeleton screen here. We're gonna place him into AR as well, using the same method we did before. So let's look around here and try and get a surface to place our model down onto. So there we go, we can place him just beside our real skeleton model that we have. Oh, he's a little bit tall, so let's just shrink him back down. AR mode is gonna tell us when we've reached average human height. So this is something else we can do, is just pan our model a little bit, if he hasn't quite landed where we want him to. So we just slide him over a little bit to the left there. And look and compare and contrast with the, the more traditional skeleton model that we have here. So you can see all the different textures of our model, all, all the detail. As we move in closer, you'll see all the organs and how they all fit together as well. So as we move around, we can see we've used some of the fade tools here as well, letting us see a really clear view into that lung area. As we move around and explore, we can see the relational scale of all these organs and how they fit together quite compactly into that torso area. So as we're exploring, if there's something we don't quite recognize, that information is available to us as well. So we just tap on the model, and that will give us that information that we need about that particular organ. So we're just gonna jump back now once more outside of AR mode. I'm gonna look at how we can bring a cadaveric lab experience to our iPads. And we're gonna do that. Again, we're gonna open up a screen here that we've made earlier and place our cadaver into the real world around us. So we're gonna do that by opening our screen and just tilting our model backwards. In order to get him to lie flat on the surface, we just have to be looking at his feet. So let's set him up like that, and once again, we're gonna jump into AR mode. Open up our camera, and move our device slowly around so that we can find a plane here that we can place the model onto. So a whole bunch of them jumping up just there. So let's place him onto our table. Just get him orientated right, and scale him down a bit, because he's a bit too tall. So now we can see exactly what it would look like to have a cadaver right in front of us in the 3D for medical offices. So again, we're seeing a view here that would be very, very difficult to simulate without AR. Seeing all those organs, how they fit together, the space that they occupy within the body. So that's just a, a look at a couple of the different features that we have in AR. And we're gonna exit AR once again. So that's AR for Complete Anatomy. It's available for download now on the App Store. We're just gonna take a look and see do we have any questions that have come in over the course of the stream. So you can get some answers for those. So the first question is from Ed Nelson. He says, will there be a possibility to use complete anatomy in a horizontal position like essential anatomy? So yes, we can do that. As we just shown, we can lie the model flat, place them into the real world around us as if we have a cadaver model directly in front of us, which is a really fantastic, useful tool. The next question we have here is from Joanna, who says, can you pan the model in AR mode? Can you rotate it? You can indeed, yes, you can place the model, and once you've placed the model, you can 
pan on the screen, which is going to move the model around the surface that you've chosen. You can also rotate the model as normal as you would in CA, so you don't have to move your body. You can move the model on the screen as well, so it really gives you an excellent way to explore things in 3D. Next question we have here is from Rachel. How can you tell when the AR model is at average human height? So when you're in AR mode, we have this scale slider on the left-hand side of the screen. And as you scale that up and down, you slide your finger up and down on that UI tool, the model is going to change height. And once you hit that middle point, you'll see a little blue dot and a little message will come up to say that you've hit average human height. So you'll be able to really easily scale the different things to see what they would look like in the average human. And that's for not just the full body, but for any model that you will have placed into AR. So you can see the average size of, of the liver, of the lungs, any model that you've placed into AR, you'll be able to see the, the exact scale of. The next question is from Ava, and it's what about the cost? So the cost is totally free with the upgrade of Complete Anatomy. So it will be free at download, which is at the moment 50% off in the App Store. All right, next question is what devices is AR mode available on? So we're currently using Apple's AR kit to, to power our AR. So it's available on the iPad Pro and the latest iPad model 2017. That is Apple's restriction at the moment. So hopefully as they develop their AR kit, we can move and expand to more models. Our question was from John. So thanks for that, John. So we'll just see, do we have any final questions? I think we're all done there. So that brings to an end our live stream. So thanks very much for, for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you again next time.